you're right. It's it it's tuning into a frequency, but when you say your inner frequency, for sure tuning in in the awareness of where it's at. But there's also this compound to that of saying you, meaning th the truth, which is love, which is your true higher self, your true higher being, and that frequency is high, is you know constantly in bliss of observa observation of what's unfolding, like unattached from its result. Like everyone's just living out their dharma. The current circumstance is a reflection of the previous thoughts and feelings. I'd say if someone was like, hey, I want to learn about discipline stoners, if I had to choose one, uh, you know, frame to like show them, it would be like this right now would be great. Appreciate you. Y'all know what's good. <sighs> Let me get some water and then we'll go back over to the computer and then I'll show you guys... Uh, a new kind of kind of thing I'm working on. It's cute, Ralph. <clears throat> Here's the other thing. Since I've smoked more weed, I entirely remember to drink more water because you have to. I drink so much water. You must. Right? If you smoke this much, you have to. Oh my god! I have jalapenos and cheese. I'm gonna make stuff jalapenos. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Jalapenos? How many? For three bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight beautiful jalapenos for three bucks. How about your boy? If you find the vibe inside of yourself, you find it in others, and together can evolve to that higher level. Uh, the resonating frequency compounding power. You're absolutely correct. Your reflection in others does exponentially grow. If you guys find it together, you exponentially grow. If you both reflect that, it's like vibration in a room for sure. Why does it look like I'm jerking off two female camels? Um, I'm just gonna fuck around and cut this orange up. Dustin, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? Hold on, what did uh, KJ say? Current circumstances line was on point. And too quick. I just didn't spend a lot of time with it here because I spent it time over there. Caught my... <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. I'll go back to that, though, because I'd love to explore that even in, if you've been here from the beginning or if you're watching the playback. Thank you. Love you. Um, I'll explore that thought in a way that won't be redundant. Um, nice. <laughs> Got my... You're so cool, buddy. Can't wait to see what you're going on. Okay, current circumstances. So, when you are uh, in a situation or in uh, a circumstance that you... Uh, it doesn't matter if you perceive it good or bad. It's always your momentum of previous thoughts and feelings, mostly feelings... But thoughts lead to the feeling. So thoughts are the thing to focus, to find what the ego identity, the result watcher, wants. So the head, focus on its pref find your preference. Now feel good about it. And then the feeling state comes from what you're observing and how you're choosing to observe it. So that's the trick of law of attraction of even if you don't like the circumstance, Getting happy inside and looking at what you have in gratitude will increase the enjoyability of it. It will introduce more things in that frequency. So it's all the feeling. It's actually the feeling doing the work, but the mental cognitive focus is doing the work of either choice of perception, meaning I can look at something bad and still find the good in it, or finding a pleasing circumstance or creating one. Finding or creating one, we know from our previous conversation and we know from just being aware sentient beings that finding and creating are the same thing, basically. So whatever this, your noggin has to do, whatever direction your knives have to chop in, do what you need to do because it's different for everyone. That's the fuckery of all this. Because someone's like, oh, the, the law of attraction is not real because there's not one answer. You thought there's one answer from religion, bro? No. 
It was all just love. That's the one answer. So same here. One answer. Find something to focus on that makes you feel love, makes you feel okay, makes you feel gratitude. <sighs> and move from there and your circumstances will like bubble up. So, but your current one is due to the previous thoughts and feelings. So if you weren't watching what you're focusing on, right, and at this point, KJ, I, I appreciate you, I know, you, I, I assume you know, but I'm like flushing this out now for just even myself. Uh, you, like that's the kind of mind trick is to, to find something to uh, either switch your perception of reality or find the opportunity to create your reality. And then uh, you become, Free, you become free of your circumstance running how you feel or other people's actions or uh, comparing yourself or things like this in that nature that are, they're done, like they're done. <laughs> like, it's over, like you can't, that's the thing. They go, no, me, it's over. Like whatever is now, you didn't focus on then to make, the now, like how you wished it was, you stayed in the observation. So zip, 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 the back, okay, reverse, boom. Time is non-linear, okay, we're back in the present. Boom, we're in the present. Now, use this to move towards your new, I'm gonna use it, Julia, priorities. Your new priorities is your new future now but they gotta be here. I'm learning this along the way, meaning I can talk about it, but the, but the emotional walk of it is still a task. You're talking to someone who, if there was a beef, I'm like, where? That's like, like immediately, like immediately. <laughs> and then whatever I had going on here was then, on another timeline. And then I've only had this beautiful, this, 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 all this, since I've been kind of like limiting that impulse and like, nope. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs>